Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video to revisit one of my guilty pleasures. It's Marvel superhero mashers in the form of Spider-Man 2099 versus Rhino. I picked this up a while back and in fact had my eye on it for an even longer while before that. And although it had caught my attention, I wasn't prepared to cough up the $24.99 price tag, so when I saw it reduced to £5, it went straight in my basket, along with the Iron Man vs Ironmonger set that was similarly reduced. Now a £5 price tag was one of those pinch me moments, as generally the price of a single masher is £10, so two for five is two for the price of half of one and in fact was likely discounted by mistake as when I went to check out it rang up as the regular $24.99 price. She called the manager, there was lots of back and forth, and eventually he crumbled under the pressure of my cold, hard stare and sold them to me for £5 each. Go me. And what with me just picking up the Spider-Man 2099 Micro Masher who comes in a two-pack with Venom, well that inspired me to dust off his larger Masher's cousin for a review. I'll set the Micro Mashers aside to focus on another day. In the meantime, let's take a look at the package inside art which features Spider-Man 2099 and Rhino sneaking up on him pantomime style. Hey Spidey, he's behind you. Then on the packaging back, there they both are in all their mashed up glory, rocking parts from Rocket Raccoon, Iron Man, Ultron and Carnage. Reviews of Rocket Raccoon and Carnage you can find on my channel actually. So here is Spider-Man 2099 out of packaging. For those not in the know, he is Miguel O'Hara, who in the future of 2099 is inspired by historical accounts of Spider-Man, so assumes the mantle for himself. Yes, becoming Spider-Man, albeit a darker and edgier version, because we've all seen movies and that's usually how the future is, right? And then Rhino. Sure, some of you set your favourite villains to the lofty height of Magneto, Doctor Doom or Loki, but me? Nah, just give me a big dumb brawler who walks around dressed as a rhino, cause comics in it. Yet as wacky as comics can get, it's hard for me to reason a storyline in them where these two could end up looking like this. But that's the adult in me. Your average five-year-old is worrying less about that and more excited that they have a playability that's a bit more complex than simply smashing one plastic thing against another plastic thing. But really, in this set, what we have is a tale of two halves. And I say that as well with Spider-Man 2099, the red detail of his mask is sculpted raised in relief. The red detail on the body is just deco, which I'd usually complain about. Yet not here is it not being newly sculpted for this set, it uses one of the original Masher bodies instead. The kind that when they first were released frankly surprised me with the articulation they packed. Much of it on a level you'd usually strike upon in the more adult collector friendly Marvel Legends. You know, shoulder swivel and hinges and those ankle rocker pivots that I love. All points of articulation that combine to never cease to amaze me with the level of posability that the early mashers can achieve. But alas, the second half of our tale is one filled with cost cutting as we compare and contrast with Rhino here. Sadly, he is typical of the newer sculpts Hasbro have been bringing into the mashers line, so at the shoulder the arms don't hinge, they just swivel around, and there's no ankle pivot. There's not even any ankle articulation. And as we look at the back, the cost cutting woes continue if you look at his shoulder armor there. Those have been hollowed out. It's like Hasbro trying to save every fraction of a cent that they can. Then that way some soulless executive will get a $50,000 raise come Christmas. Not to mention that the facial expression has been nicely sculpted with a toothy smirk, which comes undone when they've not coughed up for a splash of white paint and have just left them flesh colored. And by all means Hasbro go save a penny, but if you're gonna do that, have the foresight to sculpt an expression where he's not flashing what should be his pearly whites. But worry thee not as it's micro mashers to the rescue, as Rhino like Spider-Man 2099 has already received one of those. And if you've seen any of my micro mashers reviews you will know despite the huge distinction in scale, parts between the two are interchangeable, so let's put the micro mashers Rhino head on his larger counterpart. 
They're better, not only because he no longer looks like he needs to pay the dentist a visit to whiten his skin-coloured teeth, but I just generally prefer the Micro Masher's sculpt, with it taking the stylization up a notch, not to mention the horn, cause let's face it, when it comes to horns, bigger is better. On his left arm, Rhino is sporting a knuckle buster of sorts with a switch on the outside of his forearm. To operate it, let's line up Spidey and hold on to your seats. Yeah, somehow I think Spidey will live to fight another day. Yet yeah, wait, there's more, as he comes with a trifecta of other implements to inflict pain upon Spider-Man. So we get this spiked shield gauntlet thingamabobby? But ho ho, don't you be getting too cocky Rhino as Spider-Man 2099 is like, I'll see your spiked shield gauntlet thingamabobby and I'll raise your four spiked watsits. Now if you are at all familiar with the Spider-Man 2099 character design, you'll know that he does have spikes protruding from the outside of his forearms, and I suppose with these we are supposed to replicate that, but there's only space for two of them on his forearms. Where do I stick the others? No, the kids could be watching, don't say that. Let's try his knees, or maybe his shoulders. But then, whoa, Rhino is like, I'll see your four pointy what's it sticking out of your body and raise you a dirty grey axe. Pretty darn deadly looking, isn't it? Well, I mean more so the side that isn't hollowed out to save plastic like his shoulders. And of course for downtime it can be plugged into his back, which is where I prefer to carry my axe. But then, he 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 Spider-Man 2099 is like, I'll see your dirty great menacing, albeit not the side that's hollowed out axe, and raise you a skateboard. Which isn't really a weapon now, is it? Except when I'm on one, in which case it's a blooming deadly weapon. But that's mostly for me. Seriously, I've broken limbs, people. Now atop his skateboard, it's left for us just to push him along, as unfortunately the wheels don't go round and round. That's left for us to use our imagination like we do when we sing the Wheels on the Bus song. But after that brief respite for playtime, it's back to battle with Rhino's ruddy great gun come shoulder mounted firing cannon. Now it's time for Spider-Man 2099 to say his prayers and... Eat his vitamins? No, Spidey, actually. Just say your prayers because... <gasps> Rhino, how could you? Don't worry, kids. Any second now, Spider-Man 2099's gonna get up and go and live on the farm with Jesus and Elvis, and they're all gonna have a big party. See, kids, his back, because I still have more guff that I need to show off, such as these wings, and maybe he is dead. Are these his angel wings? Is he gonna ascend to heaven? <laughs> That's as heavenly as my voice gets. Seriously though, in the comic, Spider-Man 2099 rocks a webbed cape, which grants him some kind of gliding ability. And I think this accessory pays tribute to that, maybe? Then an interchangeable web shooting arm, which has a peg on the end of it. And let's bring back our rhino so Spider-Man 2099 can claim some revenge. Well, he is a hero, so not really claim revenge, more have Rhino face justice by dragging him off to the local police precinct, or drag him down a dark back alley to beat the snot out of him. Yet still, the accessories keep on coming, or oh, will it ever end? I mean, um, what great value for money? Well, especially if you paid £5 and not £24.99. And so there's Spider-Man 2099 shooting his load of webbing. And that brings us to our final accessory, which sees Spider-Man 2099 webbing up a manhole cover to fling at Rhino. Didn't he, Spider-Man, do that in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? I'm trying to remember. Yet at the same time also trying to forget. So all things considered, and yeah, I think I've squeezed more than five squids worth of fun out of these two. But not quite 24.99's worth of fun, so if you like the set, see if you can pick it up discounted. I'll be sure to keep Spider-Man 2099 handy for when I take a look at his Micro Mashers incarnation alongside Venom. Until then, for more Micro Mashers, you can click this video, and please hit that thumbs up button right now, and I hope to see See you all next time. Mm, bye.